I think that one of the things we've realised, because I've been doing PDP in one form or another for a number of years, is the value that is offered by an e-portfolio is that it has a private area in it, which lecturers don't see, but that also it allows students to interact with it in ways that suit them. You know, the whole issue, if you want to do PDP, is that students need to have ownership of what they're doing. And it's easier to give them ownership with an e-portfolio than it is with a paper-based product. The reason it links into employability is that students have to recognise how they, they have to think about how they present themselves. And one of the reasons that portfolios are useful for that is that it essentially allows people who can't do web design actually do some of the things that students that can do web design do, which is think about what work they would like to showcase, think about what contacts they've made. They can put all sorts of information into it and then start to think about, well, how am I going to present it to an employer? How do I now put the top face on it that makes it relevant to the employer to look at? I think that one of the things that we've identified that students have most problems in, in seeking employment, is this issue of how you choose to present aspects of yourself which are relevant to the job that you're trying to get. Now, a number of things are being offered to students, such as CV building seminars, um, interview technique classes, but what the ePortfolio does is help the student put it together. And so a student can now create their CV and their ePortfolio. They can use the same um, standard format as, as careers advise them to use. They can then send the tag to careers and say to the careers officer, I'm coming for an interview, this is what I've done. So you can actually now nicely rehearse the whole of the interview process with a student, which obviously does a much better job than when they were turning up very often at a starting point with something on paper that they hadn't had a chance to really properly review for themselves before sending.